Hello lovelies, you welcome to MW Creative World. Today we'll be learning how to make this trendy turban that has this um, padded foam on top that you're seeing on your screen. So if you are just joining us for the first time, we say welcome to MW Creative World. And if you're an old timer, always returning to watch our videos, we welcome you once more. We say we love you. The materials needed for this tutorial is our um, our rustic fabric, our stretchy rustic fabric, and um, our half inches foam, scissors and thread, and you can use the lining or you can also use your fabric, the same fabric to lining. So the measurement for this tutorial, for the band, for the back of the base, we'll be using 25 inches or 24 inches by 13 inches i've already cut it out the lining part also i use another fabric you can use the same fabric or black also any of your choice this is 25 inches this is the stretchy side by 13 inches we have the band you can use um, 15 inches by 6 inches so this is what i did i pleated it like this i see i i've already pinned it down so I can let me just show you what I did. This is you can use five inches by fifteen inches also. So I just took few like this, like one inch here, and you pin it down, or you can start sewing. So this is what I did. So here it is. We have our double pleats. So, this is for the band. 5 or 6 inch by 15 inches for the V band. And for the design, we have 6 inches cut out in 4 places. 6 inches by 36 inches. Still on the stretchy part I did. We cut it out into 4 places. So what I will go to do in the machine now, I'm going to sew it straight down, the four of them. I'm going to sew them straight down. And I'll be back. And I will also sew this one straight down. And I will come to show you how to add it to the base, to the back base, before going back to the machine to sew. Then, for the foam, we cut out 2.5 inches by 34 inches in four places. This is what we'll be adding into the the six inches we cut out. This is 2.5 inches by by um, um 2.5 inches by 34 inches. So after sewing, I'll be back to show you what I what to do next. As you can see, I'm done sewing this part and I'm joined them together like so. So I've, I notched the middle point of it. Here's the middle part of it. So you get to know the middle part of this side also. Then uh, we'll open it up. So I'll go to the machine and sew straight down, sew the two sides, and leave just this part to open it, to turn it upside down. When I'm done, I'll be back. So, we are done like this, sewing it. And just have to turn it back. What we are doing it now, as you can see, I've added the foam to it. I've added the foam to it. I've added it to it. So the next thing for us to do, you're going to put the foam in like this. Put this one at the middle. Oh, 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 oh. But be gentle with it so that your own will not split it, like the way this one got split it just now. 
so this is the four of them now we're going to place this this side with you be on this side the same thing on this side we're going to put two like this we are placing two like so we we'll place the other two like this then we'll go to the machine we we'll join them together we'll join them together from like this to like so when i finish joining these together i'll be back okay and i'm done joining it together i'll be back so i'm already doing a running stitch here So, after this now, we are going to measure, so we are going to take, from this middle here, we are going to take two and a half inches. We are taking two and a half inches from here. Two and a half inches. Just mark it down. So first of all, this first one, we are going to do it like so, where the two and a half inches meet, we are going to stop there, just pin it down, then take it back, so put this on the dummy edge. Now we'll turn back like so. And we are going to stop here also. We just pin it down also because we are going to tag this part inside later. After this one, we we'll take up the last one. We we'll come here like this. We are going to pin this one down here also. But in this part, let's say we pin it down here first. We will now fold this one into two. We will now pin it down like so. So I will pin this one down here now like this. Then come here, you close this part. Make sure you the foam is not the same. You take out the foam and just tuck this one in like this. Make sure they are equal. So what to make the difference now is our pin our sewing. So I'm going to pull this out now. Then I will take my needle and thread. And I will start tacking down. I've completed this part. I've sewn here. We've also sewn this place we took two and a half inches from. Here also. Now we are not having this. We are not having this one. We don't want to be seeing this part we joined on this side or it should be either the middle or on this side so we'll go like so we're going to stop this one down like this i'm going to sew it down like that
we are almost through with the cup yeah this on the dummy head make sure they are all seated well you can do it like this you see you can also leave it like this can also leave it like this and this is what we want to do this is how we are leaving it so now we are going to tie this one down to this end as you can see we are trying to take it from the middle So here comes to the end of this tutorial please if you know you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please click on the subscription button and subscribe to this channel like this video make your comments in the comment section this is the end of the making of this cup multiple padded design leads cup very beautiful very fine you can make it in different colors so here is the end of this tutorial. There's a um, V-band padded um, turban. This trendy turban, there is the end of it. This is how it looks like. We appreciate you for your time watching this video. We really say we love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And um, if you know you haven't yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please click on the subscription button and be a part of this family. Um, thank you so, so much. See you next time. We love you. Bye.